can be overwhelming. You're so excited to start your new life, your new beginning, but getting there can feel like a lifetime of preparation, and that is true. So let's cut to the chase. Before moving into your new house, there are a couple of big tasks you'll need to prioritize. And today, we'll share our experience and few things we have done before moving into our new home. So let's jump into it. First things first, do another walkthrough. There's no better time to do a complete walkthrough of your new house than when it's empty. So before setting up your furniture and getting unpacked, take a look around and make a list of repairs and adjustments. Check the operation of major appliances. If it makes sound and buttons light up, doesn't always mean it worked properly. In our case, there was a wiring issue in the electrical panel, which affected proper operation of appliances. But don't panic, just remember, before moving in, bake some cookies and boil some eggs. Oven shows 350 and my thermometer shows 210 and it stays for the past it stayed it's actually going down <laughs> there are some minor tasks you can and should tackle immediately like dripping or leaking faucets in our case scenario we had a leaking faucet in one of the restrooms even though we have a builder's insurance it wasn't such a big deal that we needed to call our builder husband took care of it and the water was leaking under there and we discovered we had water over here. It used to come leaking from underneath here into here and right on the bottom. But now it's fixed. There's no water that's leaking. And that's it, folks. And my husband fixed it. Think about changes or repairs you'll want or need to make. Just remember some of those repairs and changes now come out of your wallet. Because we like the daylight a little bit better. It just gives it a, a nice and bright look inside the restaurant. So we're gonna do the comparison. comparison. Yeah, between this one and that one. Okay. Ooh, looks good. Okay. Well, camera can't really see it. Okay, so this is the new bowl. This is the old bowl, and you can see the tone difference. There is a, a huge Okay, difference. from here, yes, you can see. This is daylight, and this is warm. We like the daylight one. So mm -hmm. we're switching them over to daylight, so that's the way it's gonna look. It's gonna look nice and um, bright. There wasn't anything wrong with the original, so we just decided to change into brighter ones. If anything needs fixing or repairs, request the seller or builder to take care of the cost prior to closing. Due to thunderstorm and hail, the roof got damaged right before our closing day. Our builder replaced the whole roof the next day after we moved in at no cost to us. And the company did an amazing job, they replaced the whole roof within one day. So thank you Bloomfield, it's a big plus from us. Make a home maintenance checklist, like I do a pest control. That is something you can consider doing before moving in. Either you can hire someone or you can do it yourself just like we did. Another maintenance to consider is the landscaping. Either you want to change something, adjust something or add something. Like in our case, we added just a little bit of more mulch. And since this is a new construction and all the trees are still small due to high wind, one of the trees needed help to get back in shape. Don't forget the pre-move essentials, like setting up the TV cable and connecting internet. Just make sure to check the services availability in your area and prices and ask them about discounts and promotions. You might be surprised what's available for the new homeowners. So what normally happens when you change your mail, you kind of gotta go to um, mail and pick it up like for the first two weeks or so and then the rest will be easier because then then the rest will be easier because then they will send it out but for like the first couple weeks or days you might want to go and pick it up so that's something to keep in mind i already got my mail <laughs> 
A new built house doesn't mean it's clean. It still requires some deep cleaning. Either you can hire someone to do it or you can do it yourself. And if you decide to do it yourself, I have a step-by-step -step video coming where I share how to clean and sanitize the whole house, clean and polish appliances, and how to reseal kitchen granite top and prepare the whole house to move in. Pack a first day box, what I mean bring a toilet paper, bottled water, snacks, some cleaning supplies if you'll be cleaning the house yourself or stop by a store and get all the essentials needed, just like we did. We went to Costco, got some bottled water, some cleaning supplies, which is Lysol's disinfecting wipes to clean the house. So I have a whole car of food and our stuff. Then we brought some clothes. Brought some clothes, some toilet paper, and a bunch of food. Right here. And get the house ready for a moving day. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. And hopefully, you liked all of our tips that we've mm -hmm. uh, learned in the process of moving into the new house and stay tuned for more tips and tricks because we still have some stuff about the old house that we yes. did before we sold it and there's a couple of other things we'd like to share with you mm -hmm. so stay tuned thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next videos bye guys <laughs>